Hey folks, Jay Downer at Emerald City Guitars, and I'm walking through the shop yesterday and I saw these amazing 60s 330s that we have in here right now, and I uh, decided we could do a little series on 60s ES 330s. Definitely one of my favorite thin line guitars that Gibson did, and the thing about the 330 is it is a completely hollow guitar, unlike its counterpart, the ES 335, which has the block down the middle, and of course, the 330 has the P90 pickups, 335 has humbuckers. So this is a, a really unique instrument given the, uh, the completely hollow body with those big overwound single coil pickups that, that Gibson manufactured during this era. Just great sounding pickups and just a really lively, lively sounding guitar. Now, it is a thin line, so design wise, it's gonna cut down a little bit on the, the feedback factor that you're bound to get in some of the bigger hollow body boxes. And it's just, it's just a magical combination. This particular model here is a 1966, and it is a beauty. I love the chrome covers on the P90s. It's a great look on this guitar. And you can also see, you know, this is an era when they had the nylon saddles on the Tunematic Bridge there. And this guitar came just in all original condition. And I mean, look at the condition of this thing. It's absolutely wonderful. Now the 66 has a little bit slimmer neck than some of the earlier models are gonna be looking at, but some folks like that. I don't mind a skinnier neck uh, on guitars like this, especially because it's just, it's really easy to move, maneuver around and most of the stuff I'm gonna be doing on a 330 is gonna be rhythm guitar anyway. So it, it suits me well. I, I, I dig it, I dig the feel of this neck. And then this guitar just overall is, is just a fantastic example. So Nick's gonna do a demo of this guitar through this really fantastic little 60s Kalamazoo amp. So this is a Gibson product, it has reverb in it. It's got, you can see it's got tremolo in it too. It's a 10 inch speaker, it's about 12 watts. So it's kind of the version of a Fender Princeton reverb and it's in just killer condition with original cover and everything. It's a great sound of little amp. So looking forward to hearing Nick play some riffs down on this guitar through this amp. 